In this video, I want to show you some of the preferences that allow you to customize Roxim for your particular tastes. For example, right now all the text on the screen is in light blue and it's fairly small. Also, I would like to change some of the units up here in the flight simulation summary. For example, maximum acceleration, I want to change it to G's instead of feet per second per second. The preferences for Roxim depends on the operating system that you are using. If you are using Macintosh, the preferences is under the Roxim menu. If you're using Windows, the preferences will be located in the file menu up here on the top of the screen. But the preferences box looks the same no matter what operating system you're using. Under simulation summary, this shows us the columns that are shown here on the top of the screen. I'm just going to leave those alone for the time being. Under units, I'm going to change my velocity to miles per hour and my acceleration to G's and the mass to grams. You can change them to whatever units are most comfortable for you. Under the 2D drawing, this is where we're going to change the color of the font that's shown here on the stability summary. The text color is right here, and I'm going to change this to black, so I'm just going to move that slider bar down. And the color selector is going to be a little bit different under the Windows operating system, but you'll be able to figure it out. The heading font, right now it doesn't show anything here, but actually go ahead and click on that button. And we can select the font that we want to use for the heading. And I'm going to select Arial, and I'm going to make it size I'm going to make it size 14, make it a little bit bigger, just so that you can see it on my screen. The dimension and drawing font is the font of these items on the rocket itself, like the mass objects and the parachutes. And I'm just going to leave that alone right now. You'll also know that there are other colors you can choose. For example, the engine color, right now it's gray. I'm going to choose a brown and the default non-height light color is the color of the parts in the component editor screen that aren't being edited. Right now it's set to gray, so I'm just going to leave that as alone. And you can choose to show these headings, which are the headings down here on the side, if you want. Uh, personally, I turn off these myself, but you can leave them on if you want. And when you're done, you can uh, go ahead and click OK. You can see now that our text is different along with the engine color.